Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to day number 15 of 31 Days of Tutorials. My name, as always, is Ryan Hafey with Hafey Digital, and in this video, we're talking about ducking audio. That's right, you heard me correctly. I'm going to show you how to auto-duck your background music to your dialogue in Premiere Pro. Let's get it. So what I've got here in my Premiere Pro timeline is a clip of me reading from Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, and beneath that, I have some background music. Now let's go ahead and play it back just so you can kind of hear what it sounds like as is. <clears throat> 101 ways to score points with a woman. Number one. Now you can obviously hear that the background music is a little too loud during the times that I'm reading from the book. So what we want to do is we want to reduce the volume of the background music during those times that I'm reading. That's called ducking. Now I could technically go in and add a bunch of keyframes to the background music to reduce the volume where I want it to be reduced manually, but that's pretty time consuming. Luckily, Premiere Pro now offers options that make that process super simple. Now to get started, you wanna make sure that you have your Essential Sound window active. If you don't see it here, just go up to Window, Essential Sound. And the next thing we need to do is we need to assign our different audio clips. We need to tell Premiere Pro what kind of audio clips we're working with. So let's click on this dialog clip here. And by the way, if you have multiple dialog clips, you wanna make sure that you're selecting all of them at once. Go up to your Essential Sound window and click Dialog. And now Premiere Pro knows that this is a dialogue clip. And now let's do the same thing with the music clip. So we'll click on the music and select music from the essential sound window. Now, before I do any audio ducking, I typically like to reduce the clip volume. And that's because background music by default is a little too loud for my liking in most cases. So I like to reduce the clip volume down about to negative three and a half decibels or so. Once that's done, we can start the ducking process. So go up to where it says ducking here, check the box next to it. You'll notice that these options are no longer grayed out and we can start adjusting these as we see fit. But the first thing that you wanna verify is that this dialogue icon is selected because we are ducking the background music to our dialogue clip. We're not ducking it to any other music or any other sound effects or anything like that. We're gonna be ducking it to dialogue that's already selected here, so we're good to go there. Now from here, you can do a couple things. You can go to this preset dropdown and you can choose one of these presets if you like, and they're okay, but I find that I get better results typically when I adjust my settings manually, so I'm going to leave that, and I'm gonna come down here first to where it says sensitivity. I usually like to move this up to uh, about eight or so. I find that that's usually the best value for the type of audio ducking that I like to do. Next, you wanna determine how much the audio volume is going to be reduced by when the ducking takes place. This might take a little bit of tweaking and it really depends on how loud your background music is. For now though, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at negative 18 decibels and see how that sounds. And finally, you wanna adjust your fade time. This basically just determines how fast the audio ducking takes place. Is it a slow, gradual transition or is it a quick drop from loud to quiet? And for me, I usually like to put this value anywhere between like 250 and 300, somewhere in that range. And once you've got the settings how you want it, all you need to do is click generate keyframes and now you can see that keyframes have been automatically added to your background music. So if we go back to the beginning and play it back, this is what it's gonna sound like. <clears throat> 101 ways to score points with a woman. Number one, upon returning home, find her first. Now this isn't perfect and I might wanna go back and try adjusting a couple things. Maybe I'll turn the sensitivity up to 8.2. Maybe I'll increase the fade time just a little bit. And then I can click generate keyframes again and it will basically start from scratch and generate new keyframes. So this might sound a little bit better. Let's see what this sounds like. 101 ways to score points with a woman. Number one. It's a little bit better, but you get the idea and it may take some time for you to kind of tweak it and figure out how it works for what you're trying to do, but it is a pretty powerful tool. I've used it quite a bit. And if you use it enough, you can really get used to it and it can save you a lot of time. And there you go. I hope you enjoy this ducking tutorial. That was stupid. That is how you auto duck your background music to your dialogue in Premiere Pro. I hope this helps some of you out there. If it did, leave a like on this video, maybe share it with a friend if you feel so inclined, and then come back and see us again tomorrow for another tutorial. Thank you, bye-bye. 101 ways to score points with a woman. Number one, upon returning home, find her first before doing anything else and give her a hug. Number two, ask her specific questions about her day that indicate an awareness of what she was planning to do. Number three, practice listening 
and asking questions. Number four, resist the temptation to solve her problems. Empathize instead. 